guys <laughs> my hairline is tired oh, guys my hairline is tired everyone starts <laughs> wow Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> yo, 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 the going is going, the toughing is toughing, eh? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Ashley and I'm God's favorite child. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> if it's your first time here on your, on your screen, not on my screen, on your screen, but thank you so much Team A Star for coming back. Now, Team A Star has been crying. They have been shouting and sharing. They have been concerned, worried and all of the above. There have been all sorts of emotions. And I understand, you do not just go like offline like that without any, even making an announcement like hi guys i'm taking a break like i know a lot of content creators and youtubers do this announcement of guys i'm taking a break but that makes things boring you guys have to be kept on your feet you know you have to be like um what's going on do we have an upload this week or not <laughs> right that's more interesting right but i am here with some questions and whatever you guys wanted to say i set up a q a like i set up a q a like i think two weeks ago the two weeks last week right and then a lot of people responded okay not even a lot let me not even lie you guys should actually respond much my kyun is if you don't follow me on instagram please do go follow me on instagram amazing name is it's, it's dot ashley's diary please <laughs> like go follow me at, uh, on at it's ashley's diary the link to my instagram is in the description down below so if you do not know how to navigate this whole username thing you can just go and click the link and voila right or just search ashley shamu and you'll find me right so guys let me actually tell you what happened you know like when i was in poland if you actually don't know for all those that have been concerned and asking i'm actually back in zim because like literally the last video is my last days in poland so you guys already know that i wasn't there for like educational purposes yeah i'm sure we figured that out right but the thing is when i came back to zim i felt so burnt out and i felt so exhausted because i was creating so much back-to-back -back content in poland like so much in just one month i was creating back-to-back -back content and i got drained and tired because i didn't like i was just on the move you know on the move yeah so like i was so exhausted guys and i just genuinely when i came back i was like you know let me just take a break because i know the transition from poland content european like standard content to like back to zim content can be very strange and can be very it can be very dull sometimes or it can be very i don't know what the word to use but i just thought i would try get some time to refresh reset and all of that stuff get my content my ideas flowing and all of that stuff so i'm just going to be answering some of your questions um yeah i don't have an ipad so i'll answer on my laptop you know <laughs> so the first question that was actually not a question i'm not gonna mention anyone's name because like that's just weird like if you mention someone's name like that's just weird you know but um firstly i'm going to address this someone said we want weekly vlogs like series vibes and a power chi chi you know like <laughs> yo guys let me actually tell you something about vlogs vlogs are very hard to film like i i i find sit down videos so easy right but vlogs are very fun to edit that's the thing so like the thing with vlogs right sometimes i don't like the honest truth let me actually be real with you guys i genuinely feel like constant vlog after vlog can get very monotonous and boring and i try to avoid that unless it's like travel content for example in poland you saw i was posting vlog after vlog that is because there were different destinations and locations so obviously in your head when it's a, as a viewer you'll be like oh what's there what's in krakow what's in warsaw what's in Zakopane? all those things but then like if it's just a weekly vlog or it gets boring guys i honestly feel like it'll get boring like me just posting the same thing because return re uh, yo relax babes routines are very monotonous because it's a routine it means you do it every day and i don't want that that's why i always feel like taking my time with vlogs i don't like to rush them i don't like to overdo vlogs like constant vlog after vlog of me being in the same environment same space can be very boring and yeah i'm still thinking about it but i would definitely take your point into consideration because i genuinely love editing vlogs so yeah 
Um, another one said, Hi sis, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Guys, like five years I'll be 25. Like I'm still trying to digest the fact that I'm 20. <laughs> 25 i think when I, okay to be fair i'm not i think um i wanted a conversation with one another person and she said don't put too much pressure on yourself and i now understand what she meant by that like we set so many unrealistic standards or like goals for ourselves that are unachievable so i'm just gonna say in the next five years i would love to have been in terms of content instagram i would have loved to be over let's just say I'd have loved to be over 50k in the next five years. 50,000 subscribers. I have my ba my bachelor's degree by then, and what else? I think I would have launched my merch. I've been I already know what my merch is going to be. I think I would have launched launched uh, launched my merch by then, as well as I would. I think I would start. I would be starting to work on a business idea that I want to do and implement, and maybe if I want to do a master's, I'll be working on that like in the next five years like when i'm 25 i think i'll be like in the process of finishing my masters or starting that's if i feel it's necessary if i honestly feel like it's not necessary for me to do a master's degree then bro why am i wasting my time i should be making money or something like that <laughs> see like i had this conversation with another person who's like 25 and i'm like no when i was like young i still better you know when i'm 25 i should have a house a car you know all those stuff i should be married and have two kids or something like that and none of that has happened and it's just like bro be easy on yourself like life everyone's journey is different so your your success might come when you're 30 someone's might come when they're 22 that's just life you know um so that's where i see myself in the next five years i honestly feel like also in the next five years i'll be doing something amazing i don't know what that is yet but i definitely think um i'll be doing something very amazing and breathtaking so yeah i'm banking on that my i'm, I'm putting my faith on that <laughs> on that word that has been spoken you know my favorite moment so far after high school let me actually be honest with you high school has just been when i look at high school i'm just like high school is the ghetto to be fair high school is actually the ghetto like why did we do some of the things we we're doing <clears throat> anyways that's just the circle of life but one thing i one of my favorite moments after high school firstly erica's birthday party lunch yeah that was nice that was actually very memorable like to this day i still watch that vlog <laughs> i'll link it like up there or whatever but her birthday floor a birthday party was nice as well as my birthday my surprise birthday that was also nice that was nice um my cambridge award um and then going to poland and yeah also going to essay as well like touring around tourism as well that's been nice that's been a very like memorable moment like in my life so far so yeah I think that's just what I can say from high school so far. Those have been like very great moments for me. And it also reaching 1,000 subscribers has also been like one of my favorite moments. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. <laughs> What's been keeping you occupied? Actually, guys, I've just been a potato couch like this whole time. I've been a potato couch. Sometimes I go out, but like that's like once every two weeks. <laughs> like literally, that's why people think I'm bleaching because I've been in the house. I'm not. I'm not bleaching, guys. <laughs> I've just been in the house. I'm I'm a homebody type of person. I'm um, okay. I like going out, but I also love staying. I'm an I'm an ambivert. I'm in between. I have my moments, you know. And then someone says steps to getting closer to God. I honestly feel like, firstly, if you wanna get closer to God, I honestly really, I would literally. This is I'm speaking from my experience and my like how I did it. Um, not that like, I I am close to God. Like I'm his favorite child. So, but then like I also have my my obstacles you know and stuff in a relationship you know but i just feel like um reading your bible is very essential it equips you with knowledge praying um fasting as well can help um talking to other people watching sermons i know some people have this misconception or this like stereotype of like watching sermons but you know when you hear someone's point of view of how they view a scripture or how they see god it can be very captivating and opening as well um so praying reading a bible fasting um yeah and just also like talking to god every day you know how like i feel like i always explain this to people 
treat your relationship with God like your relationship with your significant other or with your partner or with your sibling. Constant communication is key, right? Like if you want to develop a relationship in general with humans or with people, you communicate. So that's another reason. Like communicating, giving attention to God, performing his love languages on him, which are basically reading his word trusting him having faith in him i think those are love languages sacrificing offering tithing all these things those are love languages yeah those are god's love languages actually um praying for people ministering talking about him to other people i think that's a love language as well so yeah as well like the things you do in a relationship i think you should also take those things and like look at it that way like if your partner doesn't talk to you for two days you're already angry but you can spend the whole month there talking to god how does how do you think he will feel you know how do you think he will feel like that's that's how i take it like if i want to develop a good relationship with someone right i take steps like attention understanding them you know you know like communicating but you don't do that with god and you want a close relationship how does that work you know so i think like take that into consideration as well like treat your relationship with god like the way you treat your own relationship with your boyfriend or your husband or whatever like your partner or whatever like significant other like just treat it like get to, like you're in a relationship somewhere because it's literally a relationship with god you know and the things that you do to develop that relationship you know um what are you up to now study it to see I'm actually like not in at the moment i'm not studying anything i just did a course a harvard course and i finished that i'm not like currently i'm not doing any studying but i'm definitely like i'm just gonna tell you the degree i want to do i want to study law so yeah at first i wanted to study psychology and then there was this whole like debacle like in our family about psychology and like the stereotype that my parents have about psychology and then when i re later realized that i dread listening to people's problems all the time i was like no i can't do that so i prefer arguing i love arguing guys i just love stating facts and i like i like like i actually argue with my friends on purpose to kind of like exercise my argumentative skills you know but sometimes they end up catching and then it becomes a <laughs> drama but i'm like bro it's not that deep you know i like arguing like let it go <laughs> but sometimes you know you don't want to be that deep you don't be that deep okay you don't want to be that deep but someone can deep the, the undeepable you know and then it becomes a whole one and then i'm also going to answer a few questions that i figured some people have been wondering like some people have been asking me like why haven't you been uploading like guys i was on a break right i feel like i don't have i let me be honest with you guys i actually have so many ideas like my ideas are overflowing and running and <laughs> they're overflowing guys my ideas i have so many ideas for this channel but just how to implement those ideas and the resources for those ideas i do not have at the moment so this is hard because i really want to make nice things like i really want to make fun videos but i don't have for example i really want to make group videos on my channel right i love making group videos but i just don't have enough people to make those group videos you get what i mean like, i don't have enough friends anymore like yeah like some friends went for uni others we just we just grew apart and so so i don't have any more friends i don't have a lot of friends like i only have like right now currently in query i have three friends and two are mutual one isn't a mutual friend of the like yeah so filming a video with those three might be weird second the people are busy with their lives and no one no one not everything revolves around me so like i can't be like telling people ah come and film a video i know you have an assignment to do i don't care come and film the video type, type of thing so like some things like group videos i really wanted to i want to film those guys like i have so many group ideas but i just don't have anyone to film them with you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah that's why i've been uploading i've just been taking a break but i'm actually like creating content at the moment like i am and then as well as I know people have been asking about deep conversations. Let me actually tell you what happened. I filmed an episode, you know, in Poland, deep conversation with someone, and then I lost all the footage. It just doesn't make sense how that happened, but I lost it. So we move. We will try again next time. <laughs> well, we will. I actually want to film deep conversations soon, like the first episode again, like, but a different topic though, because the person I wanted to film, you know, yeah, that so i'm just waiting on the person to be available then you can film the video but other than that guys that is what we have for today that is what we have on teammate star ashley's diary you know the vibes tell a friend to tell a friend that i am the best youtuber in zimbabwe i say what i said 
fight me. Come and fight me. <laughs> fight me. I'm joking. I'm actually, I actually love some. Actually, have, let me actually plug you on some Zim YouTubers. Right. I love watching. Wait. Zim YouTubers. Well, I'm talking about Zimbabwe YouTubers in Zimbabwe. Okay, because there are so many Zimbabwe YouTubers out there. Zimbabwe YouTubers in Zimbabwe. I can only think of two people at the moment. I feel so embarrassed, right? But that I didn't mention in the other video. Um, Nyasha B, I mentioned it, right? Yeah. She stopped creating videos, like vlogs and stuff. She, stopped, she hasn't been making content, so... Yeah, I know it's about one thing people will upload consistently. Potato Mommy and Tanaka Paul are the ones I've been watching, like, of late. Those are the ones I can actually, like, watch in them. Then Hype Tribe hasn't been making, but I used to watch Hype Tribe as well. Then the other Zim YouTubers, but I'm not in Zim anymore. I was saying, guys, like, if you want to, like, a video on um, other YouTuber recommendations, please do let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, guys, subscribe. And, yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> I have so much energy. I hope to see you guys soon. And stay blessed, stay vibrant, stay shining. And until next time, guys, bye. Oh, 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 oh,